Hi, this is Dave Taylor, and I want to give you a quick demo of Screen Recording Suite. And I got to say, for recording what's going on on your computer screen, it's pretty darn easy. So let's go ahead and launch it. And I've obviously already installed the program, which includes adding a video driver because it needs to be able to capture things. Now, here we go. Here's the main menu. And as you can see, if you really want to just jump in and get going, it's as easy as clicking the Start button. But I'll suggest there are two options that you need to adjust and or at least look at. So let's start with options. And the first one is, as you're seeing, the cursor has a little yellow circle around it as I'm moving around. I think it's really good on screen captures because it helps people see where the cursor is. If you don't like that, you can turn that off here with Show Mouse Hotspot. Or, alternatively, if you do like it but you wish it was bigger, you can also adjust it with the radius size. And you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever. Uh, the other thing I think it's important for you to go and check, uh, actually, well, let's change one thing here. Okay, so I know what function keys what. Um, the other thing that I think it's important to check is your input device. And it's a little confusing because that's under video file. This is where you can change your output format and such. I'm going to leave it as a WVM, WMV file because it works fine. Uh, but here you can make sure it's a system sound or microphone. And here's what I've found is if I do both system sound and microphone, this third option, then I get a sort of weird echo thing and it's distracting when I'm recording. So I use just microphone and it seems to work great. So there are other options. I'll let you explore them. So here we are. And I'm just going to do a real quick little demo. And hopefully I'll be able to record within a recording. We'll see how that works. So I'm going to push Start. And it gives me a heads up on what's about to happen. And as soon as I'm ready, then I can do this and say Go. And so now I'm recording. And I can say, for example, so here's how you use Google Drive. Once it's installed on your desktop, you double click to open things. And there it is. And here are the files that I have that are part of Google's new Google Drive system. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. And you can just close it and use it as like any other folder on your computer. So now I've made that little tiny demo video. And I want to stop. So I push F7. And now it's finished the recording, so I can play the recording to preview it. But what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to just show you real quick, I'm going to just close this. And it's like, okay, we're good. So now I'm going to go into my web browser, and I'm going to go to YouTube, and you're going to, this is cool, hold on. And I'm going to go to Upload, and, <clears throat> excuse me, what I want to show you is that I can directly upload the file that was just recorded. So... If it lets me do this, here we go. So I go to My Documents. I go to Screen Recording Suite. And I'm noticing my computer slowing down. I think it's getting confused. And I can just pick the recording and open it. And as you can see, it directly uploads to YouTube. So in terms of recording and just getting a quick demo out there or showing tech support or showing your friends or your mom, here's how to do it, mom. Um, it's super easy. It really couldn't be any easier. So while this uploads, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. And if you have any other questions or if you're just looking for good technical information, I encourage you, of course, to check out AskDaveTaylor.com. Thanks a lot.